moisturizer and the fit I had on yesterday. Uniform necessities, multiples are her thing. Now your neighbor wanna come and speak to me like. Hey, how you doing? Good. I ain't too bad. Ha 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 ha. Hit up with a few fake laughs. She talking my ear off. Oh, it's sympathy I lack. I care about one thing. What up? Put so much into tonight, and you just don't care. And I stop playing games, gun. Bring your downstairs. Come on, girl, let's go. Fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Miami Dolphins. The battle for the Lamar Hunt Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC Wild Card game. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. It's Leonard Fournette, and he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A first carry now for Chase Edmonds. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this one is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Off of play action. Here's Stafford. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Inside handoff now to Fournette. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now a play fake it at Stafford. It's caught at the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. Scoring first, so critical in the postseason. They've got it here first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's going to pull his way into the end zone for the Dolphin score. Leonard Fournette, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins will strike first here in this wild card match. Extra point. Touchdown to kick. Take it in at the three. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. 
And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good running right there. And this is a man who was a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Yeah, I'll get this out wide to Boyd. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Newton on third down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. And that'll kick and go out of bounds just outside the 15 at the 16-yard line. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Forced out to his left. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Trey Flowers picks it, and they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Touchdown, Bengals! Tyler Boyd! 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles. They had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well on that first one. Not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Stafford, dancing to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. To throw on second and ten, Stafford steps away to his left. And going deep for Hill. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the Bengals will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45 yard line. And they're certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Newton's thrown into the hands of Sample. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 7-7, our score after one. Working with a second and four. Newton now to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense felt pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third down, Mixon. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Here's Newton. Just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage 
has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Out of the shotgun, they run with Nixon. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon with career touchdown number 60. And the Bengals have moved out in front. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. A short kick taken at the 18. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. That 7 0 lead of there is short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he finds Beasley complete. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up third and two. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop them here on third down. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Bengals drive about to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity. Now Newton on first down. This one hauled in by Sample. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. To throw is Newton. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. From the 50, Newton. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing again is Newton. And he 
knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, the first two drives yield a touchdown, so there's no reason for them to put that to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Fournette, a first down carry. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Play action. Stafford. That's out to Hill. Right side complete. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in a field goal range now at the 27-yard line. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. On first down at Stafford. And going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He's going to go deep for Beasley. On oh, Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point he just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. This will be fielded inside the five. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium. But you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. On 
Second down, here's Mixon. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. The plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. And he'll get credit for a punt inside the 20, not by much, but inside the 20 at the 19-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. to get that football back because trailing here in the second half last thing they needed was to lose the possession and the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there their chance to score points but the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession so possession still theirs but now they face a third down back to throw Stafford that's caught by his big tight end Mike Kosicki and they get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, standing just outside his own goal line. Here's Williams to return. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. 49 yards on the ground for him so far. That's a really nice job for them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. It's Mixon on the counter. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight, now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Throwing on second and eight. Newton dumps it off to Mixon, and they'll work this down inside the 30. Jonah Williams, former first-round pick, the guilty party. 
Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. After the penalty, it's Mixon. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. And he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Easy, easy! Zebra! At the 27-yard line. Off of play action, here's Stafford. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Finds Hill on the crossing route, complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone. And then... Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That's a nice play. Got yeah, me thought about that. But can they get back to back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, and you have to get the ball back. Everything you go through, holding up the runner, breaking it in the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands. Whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Throwing on third down, Newton. That's going to be caught along the sideline, and what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. 12 yards that time, and a Cincinnati first down. Eight. 
Now Newton. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there for Cincinnati. 46 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Mix it up the middle. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge game last play. I tell you, he brings the wood when he comes flying up and run support. He may be a safety, but he hits like a linebacker. Hey. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. Hey. Throwing is Newton. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off Byron Jones. And the Dolphins are right back in this football game. And now with that interception, you feel like we've got a ball game again. Remember, two-score contest and still time left here in the fort. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no. But the way the game's played now, throwing it makes sense. You just have to be careful when you put it in the air. After the interception, here's Stafford. Binds in trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Khalid Kareem able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Well, at least it wasn't a turnover like the last drive. You'd think they'd make an adjustment and be ready to make up for that turnover. Instead, just another big play for the defense on that snap. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Khalid Kareem dropping him for the second straight play. Might want to think about blocking him here on third down. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Hey, play ball! They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. A crazy sequence here. A huge gain that time, but it still leaves him well short for fourth down. it off. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, could have had our shutout. 54 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if he picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big dip because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to make second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. Mixer. And he'll be out of bounds. 
Bills. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage, any, anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good yeah. backside guys. Man. That's what you're supposed to And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Cam Newton. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Bengals are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Well, one win down, still three to go to get to the most hollowed ground in sports, but a good start. A terrific start because they get to move on. Unfortunately for the team that lost, it's a long offseason ahead for them now.